última vez vimos cómo los adjetivos calificativos pueden usarse para describir la personalidad de alguien. Veamos un ejemplo. First is Capricorn. The star says you're practical, prudent, and ambitious. Reserved, and you have a great sense of humor. Pisces. You're imaginative, romantic, and practical. But the star says you are also lazy and impulsive. <laughs> you must be more responsible. ¿Se acuerdan? Muy bien. Vamos con la siguiente lección. Unit 1, Lesson 8. My favorite athlete is Ana Guevara. Redactará la biografía de algún personaje famoso. Hola, chicos. En la lección del día de hoy, Jero tendrá un sueño en el que conocerá a algunos personajes famosos a través de sus biografías. Veamos qué pasa. <tose> I need an idea for the sports show on Radio Rebelde. Maybe tomorrow I'll think of something. Uh. Hugo, Hugo. Huh? Jimena? Hmm? Is that you? <laughs> What are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here? This is my dream. <laughs> I'm waiting for Hugo Sánchez. I'm a huge fan. Really? Hugo Sánchez? I can't imagine. Yes, I know everything about him. He's one of the most popular athletes in Mexico. When is his birthday? Hugo Sánchez was born in Mexico City in 1958. <laughs> What does Hugo look like? He's an athletic man. He's dark skinned and slim. His hair is short, curly, and brown. His eyes are brown, and he has a wonderful white smile. <laughs> His favorite sport is soccer. <laughs> When he was a very young man, he played for the Mexican national team. In the 1975 Pan American Games and later, in 1976, the Olympics. He played five seasons for the Unam Pumas. But Hugo Sanchez is known all over the world. What did he do? He played in Europe with the Real Madrid team. He won five consecutive Spanish league titles, the Copa del Rey in 1989 and the UEFA Cup in 1986. What else did he do? He won four consecutive Pichichi trophies for most goals in a season. What does he do now? He's a soccer coach in Spain and he's also an orthodontist. Wow! You are really a great fan. What about you? Do you admire someone? Of course! I'm a huge fan of a rock singer. What's his name? His name is Paul McCartney. When is his birthday? He was born in Liverpool, England, on June 18, 1942. What does he look like? He has white skin. He's tall and slim. His hair is short, brown and wavy. His eyes are brown. What does he do? He's a singer and composer. He was part of the Beatles. Why did you admire him? He's one of the most influential composers of the last decades. He composes music and grandparents, parents, mm -hmm. and children love his music. Unbelievable. Now I know who he is. <laughs> and I know his music. He's a great music composer. <laughs> and you know his biography. <laughs> hey, Hugo is over there. ¡Hey! ¡Hugo está por ahí! ¡Hugo! 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 ¡Hey, Jimena! ¡Wait for me! ¡Guau! Mm. 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 Wow. ¡This is Mike's room! Mm. I think I'm still dreaming. Mm. I'm sure this is Mike's dream. I wonder what he's dreaming. Hmm? Hey, Hero, what are you doing here? 
Are you waiting for Paola too? For whom? Who's Paola? What does she do? I can't believe you don't know her. Paola Espinosa is a Mexican diver. When is her birthday? She was born on July 31st, 1986. In La Paz, Baja California Sur. She is 25 years old. Her favorite sport is diving. What does Paola look like? Paola Espinosa is a beautiful athletic woman. She is dark skinned, short and slim. Her hair is medium long, curly and brown. Her eyes are brown. Is she a famous Mexican athlete? She represents Mexico at diving competitions since the... 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens. At the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, she won a bronze medal in the 10 meter synchronized platform diving event with her partner Tatiana Ortiz. She won the gold medal in the 10 meter platform at the 2009 World Aquatic Championships. She's still competing and winning medals. <laughs> wow, that girl is very athletic, like Ana Guevara, known as the fastest woman in Mexico. What does she do? Her favorite sport is basketball, but she's famous for running 400 meters and 300 meters in athletic competitions. Mm. When is her birthday? Ana Guevara was born in Nogales, Sonora, on March 4th, 1977. What does Ana look like? Ana is a very athletic woman. She is dark skinned, medium height, and slim. She has very strong legs. Her hair is long, straight, and brown. Her eyes are brown. Why is she famous? She became a sprinter because her running speed was awesome. She was really fast. She won her first gold medals in 1996 and 1997. In 2002, her goal was to conquer the Golden League, and she did it. She ran in the University Stadium of Mexico City in 2003, and she broke her own record in the 300-meter race. Can you imagine running so fast? <laughs> Mike, stop! What are you doing? We are jumping! Don't you know how to swim? No, I don't swim! <laughs> What is this place? Hello? Is there anybody here? Hi, Hero. Hmm? What are you doing here? <laughs> this is my dream. I don't know. I suddenly appeared here. What are you doing here? I'm just thinking of ideas for my homework. I need to write about a person I admire, but I don't have any ideas. Great! I have thousands of ideas. What person do you admire? Hmm. I'm a huge fan of Jose Agustin. Hmm. He sounds familiar. When is his birthday? He was born in Acapulco, Guerrero on August 19, 1944. What does Mr. Agustin look like? Jose Agustin is white skin. Mm -hmm. He's very short, straight, and black. His eyes are brown and he wears glasses. What does he do? He's a Mexican novelist. He's considered a member of the so-called Onda Literature. Onda Literature? Onda it's a word used by young people to describe fashionable trends. That's right. I don't know on the literature. La Tumba is his first novel. Mm. It's a provocative story of a Mexican upper-class teen. Wow. I admire many novelists, and that gives me an idea for my journalism project. <laughs> I'm going to write about Ángeles Mastreta. What does she do? She's a Mexican author. Her current occupation is journalist. Her father inspired her to be a writer. When is her birthday? She was born in Puebla on October 9, 1949. What does she look like? She has a dark, intense face. She's medium height and slim. Her hair is straight and brown. Her eyes are big and black. Why is she famous? In 1974, she received a scholarship to attend the Mexican Writers' Center. She was able to work on her writing skills with other authors like Juan Rulfo and Salvador Elizondo. Mm. She wrote the novel Arráncame la Vida, mm. for which she won the Mazatlán Prize for Literature. 
This novel was a great success in Mexico and around the world. A famous film was made of this novel. Wow! She's a great character. You should write about her. Yes! I admire her because she is a very intelligent journalist and writes for many newspapers. That's great! I have to read her novel, Arráncame la Vida. Gosh! Hmm? It's time to wake up. I have to go, Jero. Hmm? See you around. No! Wait! Sarasvati, how do I get out of here? I don't know! Bye! Uh, what's going on? Hey! What are you doing in my dream? I can't see Paola Espinosa. I don't understand. You are in my dream. And mine too. But I have to say, I have a great idea for my journalism huh? project. Me too. I have great ideas for the radio show. A biography section in our sport program. What do you think? Sounds great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the market. And I'm going back to sleep. Well, I guess sleep time is the best time for great ideas. de hoy, vimos algunos ejemplos de cómo redactar una biografía. Vamos a recordar. Wow. That girl is very athletic, like Ana Guevara, known as the fastest woman in Mexico. Primero, debemos mencionar el lugar y fecha de nacimiento de nuestro personaje. What is her birthday? Ana Guevara was born in Nogales, Sonora, on March 4th, 1977. Después, mencionamos su apariencia. What does Ana look like? Ana is a very athletic woman. She is dark skinned, medium height, and slim. She has very strong legs. Her hair is long, straight, and brown. Her eyes are brown. Posteriormente, mencionamos su ocupación. What does she do? Her favorite sport is basketball. But she's famous for running 400 meters and 300 meters in athletic competitions. Finalmente, debemos mencionar los logros de nuestro personaje favorito. Why is she famous? She became a sprinter because her running speed was awesome. She was really fast. She won her first gold medals in 1996 and 1997. In 2002, her goal was to conquer the Golden League, and she did it. She ran in the University Stadium of Mexico City in 2003, and she broke her own record in the 300-meter race. This is Ana Guevara's biography. First, we mentioned her birthday and where she was born. Second, we describe what she looks like. Third, we mention what she does. And finally, we write why she is famous. ¿Han visto cómo al contestar las preguntas? When is her? His birthday? ¿Y what does he, she look like? What does he, she do? Why is he, she famous? Y unir sus respuestas, podemos redactar una biografía.